Yeah, I would I would dance with dragons a bit, right? And 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 what I, dragons are amazing because they guard the treasure, um, but they also can kill you. Can I drop <laughs> one more question, Carl? Sure, because it's something sure. that I just got yesterday and it's something I've only heard a few times. So there's two groups that I feel like we work with with advisors, people who are trying to make money and people who already have. Mm. I'm sure that you're talking to a lot of advisors who are searching for purpose outside of their business. <clears throat> what would you say to somebody who's checked the box and they don't need the money anymore? They don't need new relationships. Yeah, I would... I would dance with dragons a bit right and, and and what i mean by that is i i think of that little feeling that you have as a little dragon right like dragons are amazing because they guard the treasure um but they also can kill you and so it, it can feel a little risky to dance with the dragon but i i would just start paying attention to like that voice that you've kept quiet all these years and that voice may be saying, hey, you've got something more to give here. Like my initial reaction is always like, okay, you've built a great business. You've got all the money you need. The business is awesome. Could we just take what's in your head and get it out into the world? Like, could you, I think of it, we have a term here called scaling influence. Could we just, could we just do what you've been doing at scale? And, and, and at, at that point, maybe you forget, like, it's not about building the business. You know, can I, can I write a book? There's some people, TCI Wealth Management in Arizona, Bob, one of the founders started a foundation for, you know, how to, you know, he's really been trying to tackle financial literacy in his own area. Um, could I write a book that I could share? Could I, could I just, believe me, you have stuff in your head that you've forgotten is valuable. Like, it's just a byproduct of the work you've been doing. That story you tell about asset allocation, the way you explain risk, could we get that out? right? Could we volunteer at the local, my daughter on the way to school today told me that she dropped her financial literacy. Gosh, I shouldn't say this out loud, but she dropped her financial literacy class because it's so boring. And I was like, do you think I could teach that? And she was like, no, that'd be terrible. Like, yeah, of course your dad at the high school would be terrible, but yeah, could you be involved there? So there's one version. And then the other version is maybe it has nothing to do with what you've, what you've been doing, right? Maybe that dragon is saying, Hey, Remember that wood shop you always wanted to build and you wanted to invite 12 of the local, you know, girls and, you know, the 12 year old, the 14 year old boys and girls that are looking for something better to do over to the wood shop once a week and build a chessboard or, you know, like whatever, like I would just take some time periodically. It's gotta be some time where you're quiet. I find it out in the mountains, but wherever you find it and think what's the thing that I've always wanted to do. Now that I've got some time and some capital, what's the thing that I've always wanted to do? And then just dance with it a little bit. Don't, don't, don't be scared. Nobody's going to die. Like, and that, so that's how I would approach it.